So hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Sela from CamboTube channels again and as my previous video, I already show you guys how to add ISO file to your um, Hyper-V or to other virtual machine and today is um, about how to install CentOS I mean how to config to install a new CentOS to your PC Okay, so as I got here is Hyper-V and already create a new virtual machine Alright, so I have to run it Okay, as you guys, if you guys a information technology student you guys will know what is CentOS and you guys will know what is uh, Red Hat, what is um, Linux uh, CentOS is a Linux operating system Okay, so for the first time, fresh install of a yeah, CentOS 6.6 .6 is we have the uh, menus right here is install or upgrade an system system install system with base video driver rescue install system boot from a core drive memory test um, so select on it if um, select on the first option yeah okay we'll boot up the um, ISO file. Mm, okay, wait for it to uh, load. Trying to unpack. Oop, I made. Yeah. It's a bit slow for the first time installations. Okay, so um, it will come. Uh, it will appear like this. Um, in this part, just skip it. Use tab to use. Use tab key, and then enter. All right. Okay, so it found a media. It is a bit slow because I have run the a Sony Vegas on my Windows. Okay, so here is the interface of um CentOS 6 on my window. Okay, it will come like this and select next and choose your language, English and I use US International select next basic storage device and specialized storage device this option is uh, in basic storage device it means that if you guys want to install it just you want um, to be a normal hard disk just use this basic storage device so if you want to connect it to uh, SANS or to cloud server you use this one uh, specialized storage device so I don't need, I don't have any sun or I don't have any cloud, so I just use basic storage device, which means that it will store on my um, storage local storage. All right, so um, this one is the storage device below contain data. It means that I it's it contains some data, so I will use um, I mean that I choose this one to erase all my old data. And we've been in a fresh installation. Um, this part is um, con please name this computer host name identifier config host name. We can config it net later, so select next and choose your locations. I am now in Cambodia, so let's see where is Cambodia. Asia. Oh, it's so small. Cambodia is somewhere around here. Australia Oh, okay Oh my god, where is it? Really Asia Oh my god, I'm gonna find it Cambodia, Phnom Penh Okay, select 
Where, where, where are you? Cambodia, where are you? Um, Asia, Brunei, Asia, Phnom Penh. Yeah, let's see Phnom Penh. Yes, Tokyo, Shanghai, Seoul, Pyongyang, Macau, Kuwait, M N O P. Okay, here is Asia Phnom Penh, and next. Um, put your password. Make sure that you have symbol like um, dollar, like um, yeah. Make sure that you have symbol with um, uh, with letter and um, with number, also with um, a capital letter, with the uppercase and a lowercase letter. It is the system security, so you have to set it. Uh, let's do it again. And in this part, which means that use all space, remove all partition on select device. This include partition created by the other operation system. It will remove all the old, um, yeah, the old data of the uh, the previous installations. Replace a system unique, which means that it will replace all the the system file and create a new file. And in here, I will use. Create custom layout and next. Alright, so um, it is different from uh, Windows because um, we have to uh, manage the partitions. Um, the full partition is root, uh, I'm sorry, the full partition is boot. Boot is normally we can, um, okay, you select on it and create. Boot is select as like standard editions and create. Okay, boot. Um, normally, uh, we use. Um, okay, uh, we use uh, fa size is five hundred megabyte, and you you will mount it as slash and boot and file system is xt four ext four, and file size is five five hundred megabyte. And fix it side and force to be a primary functions and select OK. Um, you have to um, create uh, three partitions like boot, root, and um, one more is swap. Alright, so I already created a boot and I now will create swap. Select on it and create standard partition, create, and select here is swap. And will swap is you will have if you guys um have a one meg one gigabyte RAM so you will um, multiply by two so I assign it one uh, one meg gigabyte RAM so I will use uh, two gigabyte uh, storage with swap okay so um twenty um one twenty four multiply by two is twenty forty eight. And fix size force to be a primary dictions and okay. Create one more is the last one is root. Root is just a slash. Okay, and I will use a uh, fill. I mean that uh I will use this this section because I will use all of my um storage last from uh boot and swap. I will use it all. So select on the option and take this one. And okay, all right. So what you got now is three uh, partitions: SDA one, SDA two, and SDA three. SDA one is boot, SDA two is swap, and SDA three is root. And select next, and format it. Right, change to disk. And please wait for a while to creating this. Alright, so it is done and now select next. And use many more desktop. And select next. Hmm. 
Mm. Um, with a um, channel S is mostly uh, we use command to um, go to file directory, go to um, every time we, we use it, we use command. It is fast. Okay, so here's what I got now. So after logging in, I can fast reboot it. Okay, so it loading is Sando S six point six on my PC, and it's look really nice. Just like a startup of Windows, same same. Okay, so um, here is Sando S six point six. The interface look like that, and it is loading. The reason that it is load slow because I have used um, run um, Sony Vegas Pro on my PC, so this is a bit slow. And also one more thing is I assign memory only one gigabyte, so yeah, this is the reason why it is slow. Alright, so everything is looking fine here. Okay, so that's forwarded. License information, yes, accept and forward. And user, um, put my name is, username is ATSUSAIKIM. The name cannot have space, and my name is Selahan. Password is make sure that you have lowercase and uppercase letter. You have a um, number, you have a symbol, and forward. Okay, password do not match. That time is synchronize that time over the network. Okay, and select forward again. Starting. Oh, God. Uh, let's go back to and take this one and forward. In fusion memory auto and okay dam use system configure. Okay, just select okay and finish it. So that is all for um, the tutorial about how to install CentOS to your PC with Hyper V. And now I already yeah look at it and this is my username. Okay, that's for uh, tutorial today and I hope you guys have a nice day. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more video tutorial and good luck for you guys